um, Bremer.net is my website. And today I want to share with you um, something that God brought up to me the other day that I thought, well, this is really interesting. I'd like to know more about it. And that is, he reminded me of how in the Old Testament, when you sinned, you had to bring a sacrificial animal. And, um, and then once a year, you had to bring a sacrificial you had to bring a sacrificial animal in case you missed any of your sins during the year you had to bring a sacrificial animal once a year for your sins uh, sins of omission sins of you know since you didn't know since you didn't know sins that you did on purpose didn't do on purpose that you didn't even realize whatever and you had to do that and so um, then he brought me to uh, now well, John the Baptist, and John the Baptist did a, um, he baptized for repentance of sin, and I thought, wow, they went all the way from the dramaticness of sacrificing an animal every time they sin, and sacrificing an animal um, once a year because of their sins, to a baptism of repentance that John brought in, and I was thinking, no wonder the religious leaders had a fit about that. Um, because I mean that's a big change. Every time you sin, you have to sacrifice an animal. Now you're sacri now you're being baptized for the repentance of sin. And then, because uh, John was John was told to do that because that was a representative of Jesus. We were being baptized into Jesus and coming up a new creation. And Jesus was the last sacrificial animal and the last sacrificial lamb, and he he fulfilled all the requirements of the law. So there no longer was required a sacrificial lamb. Um, every time you sinned or an animal he was the end of all sacrifices the end of the old covenant rules and laws all of them including the Ten Commandments and then John the Baptist brought in baptism to repentance and then Jesus fulfilled the law by being baptized so that we could be baptized into the Holy Spirit so Jesus was baptized into John's baptism which was repentance of sin which fulfilled all laws and and then we're baptized into Jesus and to the Holy Spirit and I thought well that's really interesting I'd like to know more about that and I just wanted to bring that to your remembrance because a lot of people don't think about the fact that you know you had the you had all these sacrifices and all of a sudden the, you didn't have to sacrifice anymore because Jesus was the sacrifice the last sacrifice and that's a big step for somebody's mind to go through all their life they're 50 years old and all of a sudden you know this new law comes in and says you know be baptized for repentance of sin and the new law after that fulfillment of that law now says um, you have to receive believe in your heart and confess your, your mouth Jesus is Lord and anybody can get into the kingdom of God anybody can be saved not just if you're a Jew and you no longer have to do sacrifices so that's that's a really interesting um, thing to meditate on and to think about um, my name is Robin Breber I hope that kind of got your mind thinking um, and 